Hi everyone! Welcome to my channel, Tutorial by Sir Raiman. My name is Mr. Jem Raiman Ischen, Master Teacher 2 from Escalante Central Elementary School. Click like and share if this video tutorial helps you. Don't forget to click subscribe below to keep updated for my future tutorial. For your suggestions, especially on the topic for my next tutorial, please leave your comment below. Hope you learned something in my video lessons for this week. Thank you so much for watching. Stay home and stay safe. This time, let's proceed to lesson 2 of your module 1. And our objective for this lesson is to differentiate solid figures from plane figures and identify the faces of solid figures. Let's have first the what I know part of lesson 2. Direction. Write 2D if it is 2-dimensional figure and 3D if it is 3-dimensional figure. Let's start with number 1. Is it 2D or 3D? Yes, that's 3D. Three-dimensional figure. And that is a rectangular pyramid. Next, number 2, sphere. Sphere, is it 2D or 3D? Yes, that's 3D. Three-dimensional figure. Next, number 3. That's? Pentagon. Pentagon is? Yes, that's 2D. Next, number 4. That's triangular frisem. Yes, that's 3-dimensional, 3D. Next, number 5. That's hexagon. Hexagon is? A 2D or 2-dimensional figure. This time, let's proceed to? Your what's in part of the module that could be found on page 18. Let us name the following figures as you see here on the screen. Number one, what's that? Yes, that's a triangle. Number two, what is the name of the figure in number two? Yes, that's a square. Next, number three. Number three is? Very good, that's cylinder. Next, number four. Yes, that's a spear. Next, number five. Five is rectangle. Very good. Next, number six. That's cube. Very good. Number seven. That's a circle. Next, number eight. That's hexagon. Very good. Hexagon has six sides. Next, number nine. Yes, that's a pyramid, particularly rectangular pyramid because the base is a rectangle. Next, number 10. Yes, that's cone. I'm sure on the left side of your screen are examples of plane figures. And on the right side of your screen is an example of solid figures. Now, let's define first plane figures. Plane figures are flat two-dimensional figures. Again, plane figures have two dimensions only, namely the length and the width, as shown here on the screen. Plane figures are also defined as closed figure, whose points lie on the same surface. And what are examples of plane figures? Here are some of the examples of plane figures. A closed plane figure that serve as pattern used to form solid figure is called net. Usually, plane figures are commonly used to form solid figures and the pattern used to form a solid figure is called net or nets. What are the common examples of net? So here are some of the common examples of nets. So again, nets are used to form solid figure. This is an example of nets, as you can see, these are made up of a plane figure called a triangle. And this is used to form a triangular pyramid. Next, this one. We have a rectangle and two circles. And this is a net for cylinder. This one. This is a net for a cone. This one. This is a net of a prism. 
This one. Yes, this is a net of square pyramid. So these are made up of triangles, four triangles and a square. And we have here six squares. Six squares forms a cube. So again, these are common examples of a net. A net is a pattern that is formed from a plain figure to make a solid figure. So solid figures are geometric figures having three dimensions. These are the length, the width, and the height. That's why solid figures are commonly called as three-dimensional figures. What do you call the side of the solid figure? Yes, we call this as face. So these are examples of the faces of the rectangular prism. Now, what do you call the point where two faces intersect in a line segment just like this one? Yes, we call this edge. Edge is the line where two faces met on a three-dimensional object. What do you call this point wherein two edges met or intersect? Yes, we call this as vertex. Vertex is a point where two edges intersect. So again, solid shapes or solid figures have faces, the edges, and the vertices. Again, let us identify the solid figures. What's that? Yes, that's rectangular prism. Next, we have the cylinder. Next, we have the cube. Very good. Next, that's pyramid. Next, we have the spear. And we have the cone. Again, these are some examples of solid figures, namely rectangular prism, cylinder, cube, spear, pyramid, and cone. This time, let's have the what's more part of your module, and this could be found on page 21. Okay, directions. We have to identify the figure described in column A with the solid figure in the column B. Number one, I have one circle and one curved side. My curved side surface meets at a sharp point. I have no edges. So what kind of solid figure is described in item number one? Yes, the answer is cone. Number two, I have two congruent circles that are joined by a curved surface. I have no edges or vertices. I can roll. Yes, that's a cylinder. Next, I am round with no vertices and edges. So what do you think is the solid figure described in number three? Yes, a spear. Next, number four. I have six same shaped faces, 12 equal edges, and eight vertices. So what is described in number four? Yes, it's letter C, cube. Next, number five. I have 12 edges, eight vertices, and six faces. I have both square and rectangular faces. So obviously, that's prism. It's letter E. Next is, we have to complete the table. We will give the dimension and we will identify if this figure is a plane or a solid figure. Let's have the cube. What are the dimensions of cube? Yes, we have the length, the width, and the height. Obviously, the cube is a three-dimensional figure. And three-dimensional figure is... A solid figure. Very good. Next, cylinder. What are the dimensions of cylinder? Yes, we have also the length, the width, and the height. Cylinder is, based on the dimension, a three-dimensional figure. And three-dimensional figure is a solid figure. Next, we have the square. What are the dimensions of square? Yes. We have the length and the width. So obviously, square is a two-dimensional figure. And two-dimensional figure is a plane figure. Triangle. 
triangle has length and width also. And it is a plain figure. Let's have the rectangular prism. Rectangular prism has length, width, and height. Yes, of course. Obviously, rectangular prism is a solid figure. Let us all read the what I have learned part of the module all together. Go! Solid or spatial figures are geometric figures having three dimensions, length, width, and height. Plane figures are flat two-dimensional figures with length and width. These are closed figures which points lie on the same surface. Square, rectangle, circle, triangle, and pentagon are examples of plane figures. A net is a closed plane figure that can be folded into solid figure. Solid figures are geometric figures having three dimensions, length, the width, and the height. Cylinder, prism, spear, cube, cone, and pyramid are common examples of solid figures. This time, let us have the what I can do part of the module. All you have to do is to illustrate the given solid figure and let's identify what kind of plane figure that illustrate its faces. Let's have number one, rectangular prism. So this is how rectangular prism looks like. And what kind of plane figure illustrates its faces? Yes, obviously the faces of rectangular prism made up of rectangle. Next, we have square pyramid. So square pyramid looks like this. And the plane figure that illustrates its face, square and a triangle. Let's have number three. Number three is hexagonal prism. And this is how hexagonal prism looks like. So the plane figures that illustrate its face is hexagon. Again, hexagon has six sides. And we have rectangle. Number four, cube. So this is how you illustrate the cube. Obviously, the plane figure that made up its face is square. Next, we have number five. This is the illustration of a spear. And a spear has no face.